Good morning, this is Danielle Lau from Battleborn Health and I just felt like I really needed to make this video because I find myself saying this a lot. Um, we're gonna work on neutral spine. Neutral spine and core. So when you're looking at the core, the core should be three-dimensional. It's the front, it's the sides, it's the front, it's the sides, and it's the back, okay? So if we're only using our abdominals, we're only using the front of the core. If we're only using the back of the muscle, the back, we're all extended through here, we're only using the back. We don't actually have a core. Core should be all the way around, right? We should create a canister, right? Or if you think about like the core of an apple, it should be all of it. So one of the reasons we're working with Marsha is actually her shoulder. And you're probably thinking, what does the core have to do with your shoulder? So Marsha, I want you to take that, that um, pole and pull it apart like as if you were yeah, spinning it apart, and it should be right there. So get your arms a little bit wider so that it's up right where your waist would break, but arms straight, there, good. All right, so now, Marsha, I want you to raise that up over your head as you're trying to pull your shoulder blades in. Nice and long, come on up. So one of the things that Marsha does is when she gets to the point where her shoulder doesn't go anymore, that looks really nice, where her shoulder doesn't go anymore, she flares her ribs, right? So now we don't have a nice controlled core. So what I want you to do from there, Marsha, and this is getting some nice shoulder mobility, I want you to bring those ribs in. So deflare them. And now your, your shoulders might come down, but deflare them, right? Now pinch the shoulders a little bit. The other thing that happens when we deflare the ribs is we start to tuck our tailbone under, okay? So now she's all in the front, do you feel that? Mm -hmm. And nothing in the back. So I want you to stick, like you're sticking your tail feathers out, somewhere in the middle, somewhere in the middle. Right? So now we have controlled core all the way around. So your behind should be behind you, not under you. And I'm just going to show you here, right? Marcia, tuck your bum under, under, the other way. So that's her bum under her. Her behind is not behind her, which takes away from her strength. So now stick your tail feathers out somewhere in the middle, find that middle. Now she's nice and strong here. Her tailbone's behind her. Where do you feel the weight of your body? My feet. In your feet, what do you feel going on here? I just feel a lot of stability there. What about back here? Uh, just some, just holding. Okay, so if you don't feel anything there, I want you to shift your weight a little bit towards your heels. Now what do you feel? Now I'm feeling, yeah. <laughs> front and back, correct? Front and back, yeah. Okay, so now hold that front and back. Think about squeezing those shoulder blades and now making that level as you come back. Now we're actually getting the shoulder to work. Okay, she's not cheating with her core, she's holding herself stacked, now she is strong. Right, so takeaways, core is 3D, your tail feathers need to work as well as your abdominals, keep that arm up, keep that arm up. Right, tail feathers need to work as well as your abdominals and your behind needs to be behind you. Thanks so much for listening. Let's